Hello, this is Dennis McDonald with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. This is a customer's telephone, Charles from Oregon. And this is a Western Electric wall telephone. This is the initial checkout, and we're just kind of showing you the telephone here. One thing I noticed right off was that the dial is metal. That's a plus. Um, they had plastic ones and metal ones. And that's the plast or the metal one. And so that's a plus right off the bat. This telephone needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But other than that, it looks pretty good physically. So let's uh let's take the phone apart. Basically, you want to push. There's a little. Uh, there's a little tab here. When you take these apart, you want to push this little tab here. So I'm going to push that little tab, and that enables the body to lift off. So it's got the older style bells in it. That's that's nice. And uh, you can tell by this this uh, coil here, they always look like a silver film wrap when they um, when they're the older style. So this is the older style um, insides and the older style network here. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go into this network and we're going to check all these connections and, and clean them up and make sure everything is connected properly the way we want it for modern day and then we're going to go through this rotary we're going to take this rotary out and we're going to clean the contacts on the rotary and make sure that it's oiled and greased properly and that all the numbers are hitting properly uh, this looks like some leftover stuff here um, I'm going to pull this out Let me. Looks like somebody had wired the telephone up. Looks like some old stuff just kind of hanging here. Um, looks like they cut this. So we'll uh, let's pull that out. That's not needed. They just kind of have this wrapped around. It's an old line cord, is what it is. That somebody that somebody uh, installed on it and then it got somewhere down the line it got cut off so anyway we'll get rid of that and then uh, this telephone looks like it has a date in it of 559 let's check the back out real quick and the back looks like it's in pretty good shape. So overall, this telephone um, is a really good find. Um, we'll go into this hook switch. Um, you probably can't see it on the uh, on the video, but uh, the hook switch has got some some dust in it and uh, some spider webs and that. So um, so we'll clean that up and get that squared away. And basically this is an, an initial checkout. Um, this handset cord here looks like it's pliable and in good shape. It's just pretty dirty. So I'm going to talk to Charles about that and see what he wants to do. Um, probably the best thing to do is just go ahead and, and um, get this cleaned up and, and use it. It's, it's pliable and it seems like it's going to be okay. Uh, we could change it. Um, that will drive the cost of the uh, telephone repair up some. This is a hardwired uh, cord. Um, if you notice here, it is hardwired to the handset. Um, it is hardwired in, so it's the older style. It's one of the you know one of the first uh, wall phones that were made um, like in this uh, body style. 
so where they were still having the hard wire instead of uh, the modular. So that will drive the cost up. These, uh, these hard wire uh, cords are getting hard to find. They're around. Uh, they can be ordered and you can buy them. But, uh, but you know, just like anything else, it's, uh, if you need one when you're repairing a phone, I mean, you know, they, they, they are costly. They can, they can be a cost factor. So anyway, anything that you can save when you're redoing these is, is going to help you out cost-wise. And, and so we like to try to keep the cost down for the customer. But it's the customer's choice. If the customer wants a new cord, we'll put one on for him. And we'll, we'll talk to him about this. Um, we're going to take this uh, old line cord stuff off. And probably what we're going to do to make it simpler on uh, the customer is, if you notice on the back of these telephones, there is some holes here. And they're usually big enough to be able to get a modular cord like this through them. Um, what I don't like to see is, is uh, these telephones, uh, when guys repair these phones, they stick a modular cord out the end of them. It's much nicer and cleaner if you just take and, like, see this hole here? You can get a modular cord into it. You can push it right in. And so basically, um, what we like to do, and see that'll come right out. What we like to do is we like to take these telephones, and I'll show you here real quick. We like to mount, we like to mount a modular port um, inside of them, and um, that way, if you have a modular port mounted inside of them, you can bring a modular cord right through and plug into it. And it just makes for a cleaner, um, a cleaner look. That way, you don't have to have a, a one of these uh, gray cords, these modular line cords hanging out of the telephone like this one. And as you notice, it got chopped off. So we see that a lot, and it just kind of looks tacky. It's it's better to have a a modular port installed inside the telephone, and that way the customer, when the customer goes to hang it. All they have to do is bring a, a modular cord through the back or up through the bottom and simply plug it in. And then you don't have all these wires and this modular cord like this one that's on it right now hanging all over the place. It just kind of looks tacky and it doesn't look good and it doesn't do the phone any justice. So that's why we, in, we, we like to install these modular port plugs uh, for the line cord. And um, so I'll be talking to the customer about that, and we'll uh, get that squared away. But all in all, this is a, a pretty nice, uh, a pretty nice telephone. Um, it's not in bad shape, and um, you know this telephone. Uh, I talked to the customer a little bit when he first called and he was going to send it in and we're going to clean this phone up a little bit but um, I don't know that you can see it on the video but this telephone is never going to look brand new um, and it shouldn't uh, you know it, it's 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 not a brand new phone and uh, and as you can see there's there's markings in the body this phone can be cleaned up and waxed but um, this phone is never going to look brand new, so there's no sense in trying to make it look brand new. But we can make it look much better than it is right now. So, um, But you want a little wear and tear on these telephones. That's what makes them look original. That's what makes them look like they... Uh, that's why people want them. They have a little patina on them. So anyway, this is the initial checkout of a Western Electric Rotary Dial Wall Telephone. Charles from Oregon sent this in. And this is the initial checkout video. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.